my channel. If you are new, my name is Melissa and welcome to my channel. Today we are doing a very special video that I'm so excited to get into. We're showing you some vintage and some Club 33 items. So let's get started. So yes, I'm going to be showing you the one lounge fly thing that I got for Christmas and some vintage stuff that I actually ended up getting for free. Oh, I'm so excited um, to get into all of this. So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> um, anywho, moving on into our first item thing, I'm going to show you the Club 33 thing that I got. So my aunt actually... Anyway, as I was saying, my aunt actually went to Club 33 and got this item for me. She asked me what I wanted and I told her I would love a pair of ears. And so she got me this pair of ears. It is the Club 33 Christmas ornament pair of ears. Guys, I'm so excited about these ears. I've never been to Club 33. Let me know in the comments if you've been to Club 33 or know someone who went but i heard she was going i was like please bring me back something and she did so i actually got these on christmas i'm filming this into um january <laughs> so it's been a little while um these were the only thing i got that were disney related so i didn't want to do what i got for christmas because this would have been the only item but i wanted to go ahead and still show you guys so this is what the ear looks like here actually let me show you the back there we go Look at this shimmer on it. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, so anyway, it has holly in one line and then has the Club 33 symbol and um, like some, what are these? Peppermint candies? Yeah, peppermint candies. I just think it's so gorgeous. And then the other ear is similar. But then in the middle, there's this like pleather bow and in the center has the Club 33 emblem, which I just absolutely love. Um, it does still have the tags on. I don't know if this is a pair that I'm gonna wear. <laughs> Normally, I don't have any problem wearing my ears. I buy them to wear them. But this pair, I'm like, Club 33 ears. Am I gonna wear them? I don't know. I did take them out of the plastic. They came in like a, just a normal sorter type plastic thing. So, I don't know. Oh, oh, it is, does say simulated leather. <laughs> um, I did notice that they have like a lot fewer tags now. But yeah, no, I don't know. I just love these ears. I don't have a ton, ton to say about them, except that they're lovely. It does make me want to go there during Christmas. I've never been to either Disneyland or Disney World. Oh, I should mention, these are the Disneyland version. There is a Disney World version, I believe, um, but this is Disneyland version. Yeah, makes me want to, it's giving me all the Christmas vibes, even though Christmas is over. My mom's like, you can still wear it any time of year. We don't need to go during Christmas, but... I don't know. What do you think? Are these in any time of the year? Like from far away? Yeah, but like up close, you know that's Christmas. Yeah, I love it. Um, anyway, back to me showing the ears. I let me show you some more of the details. In the inside, it does have this like what would you call this? Not faux velvet. I guess it would be faux velvet type of thing to help cushion it. And then on the side, it does have a Disney lounge fly placard, like the Disney lounge fly ears normally have. Do I have? This is my first pair of Disney lounge fly ears. I'm trying to think through the Disney ears that I have. I think this might be my first pair of Disney lounge fly ears. Because I have a lot of parks ears, but I don't have any that are like Disney lounge fly. Because they are slightly more expensive. This retailed for, oh, for $50. You can see that. It's a little bit more expensive than the 30, I think it's actually, are they 39.9, are they 39.99 now? Or are they still like 35 something? I'm gonna have to look that up. Sorry guys, I just, I haven't bought a pair of ears from the parks in a really long time since I went, did I even buy one when we went? No, I do, I do have another pair of lounge fly ears. I have the beignet ears, those are lounge fly. Anywho, with that all being said, I think this is so cute. I feel like they also give me like New Orleans vibes like New Orleans Square vibes, which again is where Club 33 is located in Disneyland. But yeah, love these. Moving on to the mystery bag of items. First of all, it's a 2000s vintage Disney World bag. Let me explain the backstory of this bag. So I'm in a free giveaway group type of thing for my town. And basically it's just like something where you 
give away things that you don't need and then people give away things that they don't need and this was something that was given away and I was like vintage Disney items I need them I need my hands on them if you can't tell from the background I'm a big parks collector <laughs> so um I really really wanted to get my hands on them and I was chosen to be the recipient of them I think I was the only person that commented but <laughs> Um, I thought this was so cute. I think I'll show you the bag after I take everything out just so like I'm not ruining everything. But it's all vintage, early 2000s, late 90s type of stuff. Let me pull everything out and I'll show you the bag. Okay, here it is. So first of all, it has all of the icons and it has the water tower still from MGM Studios. And it's still called MGM Studios. It has the castle. Oh my gosh. Of course, Epcot, Ball and the tree of life and then on the other side sorry this bag is huge you get the 2000s look the 2000s logo and of course the disney world logo from the time and it says celebrate the future hand in hand i guess that was their trademark for 2000 anyway i don't really know what i'm gonna do with the bag yet i don't really have a pace for it but i also like don't want to get rid of it <laughs> type of thing we will see what i end up doing with it but i have all this stuff laid out i'm going to do the non-park stuff first um first of all we have two of these little vintage vhs they're not full vhs like oh they're happy meal oh they're happy meal collector items i'm assuming this came in a collector's something let me know down below if you know anything about these items i would love to learn more or direct me to videos about them too so let's pop it open i popped one of these open earlier and so like i'm trying to be really careful with it here we go okay so here's the pete dragon one and of course it has pete's dragon in it i'm assuming the person that i got this from is a disney collector because like why else would you keep all this stuff um here is pete's dragon oh his mouth moves oh look at that so cute um i'm not a pete's dragon collector but you know i love vintagey things so i might keep this one and just put it on display like like this type of thing like with it partially open i haven't decided yet what i'm gonna do with all this but yeah it's just a little pete's dragon happy meal toys a lot better quality than happy meal toys nowadays let me just say that um but yeah let me give you a full 360 of this it's like an exact copy of the like VHS, but with the Happy Meal logo. And I think, I don't know if that's an original VHS, but yeah, that's so cool. I have never, I'm gonna admit something that's probably gonna upset some people. I've never seen the original Peace Dragon. I have seen the remake that came out, I don't even know, like three or four years ago, um, but I've never seen the original. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep that item or maybe gift it to someone who likes it more. I don't know, we will see. Um, but here we go, we also have Winnie the Pooh. Ooh, there we go, Winnie the Pooh, which I do love. So this one is definitely gonna be keep. And then on the side, it of course has the Happy Meal, the little Tigger, and then the back. So this one I did open up earlier because I was really excited, but I did notice it's like crushed a little bit. So I'm gonna have to like, maybe use a hair dryer or something to reform it. And hold on, there we go. Oh my gosh, I don't think I pulled this out. Cause his stomach is like furry. Hold on, there we go. So here's the packaging again, same as the other one. But we have Tigger and his little body is like furry right here, which I love. Oh, his head moves. So him, I think I'm for sure gonna keep and I'm gonna display him probably like, oh my gosh in the packaging somehow something like that maybe i don't know i haven't decided fully what i'm gonna do but i think for sure i'm gonna keep him and pete's dragon i might gift to someone in the group or um i don't know i don't know yet i might throw it in a giveaway although the, it is not in the greatest shape so i might just gift it within the group but we will see so yeah that's really cute i love this let me do a little 360 of the I know I already kind of did, but another one can't hurt. Yeah, super cute. I love that. I wish it was Rabbit, because Rabbit is my favorite character, but Tigger will do. <laughs> Moving on, I'm going to save my favorite thing for last and like the reason why I wanted all of this stuff, but 
we have a Disneyland vintage mug, I guess you would say. It's one of these plastic mugs, but like, look at the characters. Is that not 90s to you guys? Like, look at that. Oh, I love that. And little stars. And as you spin it around, it says Disneyland. This I'm for sure gonna keep. I haven't decided if I actually wanna drink from it or not. Um, Cause my roommate and I, are both like huge huge Disney fans so I feel like this would be something that like both of us would like appreciate drinking out of um but I don't know if I want to keep it like pristine and again display it because I just love it like it's in such good condition too like I feel like a lot of these would just be like rubbed down from you know where but like obviously this was personal as a collector I don't know I don't know what I want to do yet um it reminds me a lot of the like um mugs you get nowadays that are like refillable that's what i'm assuming it was when it was originally bought but i don't know i just love it so much but yeah one more one more 360 of it and then the inside is just plain pink nothing super exciting in the inside but yeah i don't know i think i might use this one this might be one the one that i use and maybe find like a top on amazon so i can use it like a stanley cup that's actually an idea. That's an idea. Our next item is super similar. It's kind of the Disney World version of it. And it's definitely something that still exists to this day. It is the refillable mug. I'm assuming this was one of the ones that you get in the resorts, which is like something you get now when you do the dining plan or you can just buy them normally. But they're refillable mugs for the resorts. Oh my gosh, let me just do a quick 360 and then we'll look in depth. I love this so much. Again, it's in pristine condition. This one, I don't know how to use. I don't know. I'm like on the fence about using both of these because I like love them, but at the same time, they don't, I don't know where I would display them. I don't have that much display room at my lounge flies take priority. <laughs> so like, I don't know. I guess, well, okay. I do have a mug, small display that I'm actually going to go through. So I guess I could add them to my mug display and go through and get some, rid of some of my other mugs that I don't like as much. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm going to scoot forward so that I can show you it. Okay, so here's like what I would consider the front and it says celebrating the future, hand in hand, 2000. And then, oh my gosh, I just noticed. Okay. So first of all, let me see if I can zoom in. Oh, focus, focus, focus. Come on. Sorry, let me see if I hide my head. Okay. My camera does not want to focus, but this is as good as it's going to get. We have the three fairies from Sleeping Beauty, of course. We have Tinkerbell, Dumbo, fireworks in the background. The Fab Five down here, or the Sensational Six. Yes, because Daisy's there. The Sensational Six in the front. And then zooming onto the other side, we have, I think that's Beast Cat. No, that's the Cinderella Castle. We have Cinderella Castle, and then we have Genie, Aladdin, Jasmine. We have Peter Pan flying. We have Alice, White Rabbit, Beauty and the Beast. We have the three, um, oh my gosh, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. So adorable. I love that they're next to Daisy. Um, <laughs> Bambi, Thumper, Chip and Dale, my favorite. So I guess it's actually not the Sensational Six. It's the, what is it? The eight one. The, it's the fabulous, I don't know. What's, what's an eight alliteration? <laughs> But there's the eight of them. Oh, I just noticed Huey, Dewey, and Louie are actually holding a balloon. How cute is that? And it does have a Coke logo on the side. And it has just forest area. And then Epcot is in the center. So maybe this was an Epcot one. Because it's weird that they put Epcot in the center. Because normally Cinderella Castle's. Um, but whatever. This is probably my favorite side. Because one, Vintage MGM Studios has Pegasus with Meg and Herc on it. My favorite, Shang and Mulan. Um, Pinocchio, and yes, that is, in fact, Jimmy Cricket and um, Mushu. Then we have Simba, Pooh, Poo, I was gonna say Pua, <laughs> not Moana, Pumba, <laughs> and Timon. See, I wish this would focus so you guys can see it better. And then we have Baloo and Mowgli on the side, and then Oh, there's like some of the forest creatures from either Cinderella or no, no, no. These are the Sleeping Beauty forest creatures for sure. I love the mix of characters. This one I do think I'm going to keep because I just love the mix of characters. What am I going to do with it? 
I don't know, but it's so, I love this. I wish I had a print of this, honestly. It's so cute. I love it. But this one's definitely my favorite side because it has all my favorite characters, has my favorite park, and it has MGM Studios, like the old. It reminds me of the Disneyland Paris. What is it called? Is it Disney Studios there? I think so. Um, but yeah, it reminds me of that. Okay, so then the top is just like a plain top. There's nothing really special about it. There's no like thing that they have now where you can like close it and it has a little Mickey hat on it. Just normal and the, the sides the same way in the bottom. Yeah, it looks like you can have hot liquids in it though. It says, caution, maybe hot. I love this so much. I'm so excited. Oh, it does say, that's funny, it says patent pending on it. Hmm. Anywho, I love this. I'm so excited to have this in my collection. Right. So we have the final thing. The thing that I'm arguably most excited about is this mug, which has the exact same print, but on a ceramic mug. Let me pull it out. Okay, y'all, I'm so excited for this. Okay, here it is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, stop it. I love this so much. Oh my gosh. First of all, when I first opened it, I noticed that Walt Disney World, it's backwards on the camera, but I promise it's in one person is correct, on the handle, which I love, and then the handle is like nice and big, so like, this whole thing is nice and big, like, that's it compared to my face, but look at that, that's it compared to my face, or like, in comparison to the ears, <laughs> maybe that will help you, so, or this mug, it's like, pretty substantial, anywho. Pretty substantial, so like a good amount of coffee. It's really hefty, and it like doesn't feel like it's gonna break. Honestly, it feels heavier and nicer than the ones that they make today, because I find sometimes that they're like kind of thin, whatever. Um, it's the same art style as the other mug, but it's like more saturated, if that makes sense. So like if you look at it, this one's a little brighter, this one's a little more saturated. Or not brighter, lighter. That's what I meant, not brighter. So that makes me think that this one got washed and it got washed away. Um, let me do like, let me see if this will focus better for you guys. Look at all the fireworks in the background. Like, look at that, there's more detail too. I love it. And then in the middle, or not in the middle, in the inside it says, you're not, there we go. Celebrate the future, or celebrate the future hand in hand which it also says on the bottom right here. And then on the bottom it says Disney World 2000. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. I will say like the, the packaging was throwing me off because it's like super bright. I will say, okay, this box really is cool because like look at the front and you see the icons. I feel like they did for the Disney, the Disney World 50th or Disney 100 when they did all of the throwback merch. I feel like they did a 2000s one. And they did like a sweatshirt. Like I vaguely remember that. Either way, I love that. Okay, let me know down below. You guys are probably know more than I do. If I use this, is there a chance that it could get like wear on the outside? Because I would love to use this one. I don't know. Like I'm more likely to use this one than this one. I don't know, because like part of me is like, I really want to display it so it looks nice and pristine forever. But there's another part of me that's like, just use it, Melissa. I don't know, I don't know. Oh my gosh, I love it though. Watching it, but thank you if you gifted this to me, you know who you are. Um, but again, I doubt she's watching it. <laughs> so let me know down below what your favorite thing that I showed today was. If it was the ears, if it was one of the mugs, or if it was the little Happy Meal um like toys let me know down below and let me know um what what you think of disney vintage like i feel weird calling 2000s vintage because you know i don't know it doesn't feel like long enough ago but at the same time i feel like it's now considered vintage i don't know let me know <laughs> down below um and thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up down below and subscribe for more magic from me again comment down below what your favorite item is and what i should do with all these what do i do do i use them do i just display them what should i do but with that being said i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and i'll see y'all next time bye